class we studied that uh, uh, displacement reaction and uh, double displacement reactions and uh, in a double displacement reactions the two atoms or two group of atoms or simply two ions exchange uh, their position because of that the double displacement reaction taking place okay then in the next topic that is precipitation reactions when you observe the double displacement reactions the in the product section uh, there are two products are formed okay in that one is soluble another one is insoluble because of that the almost all the double displacement reactions will form precipitate because of that the those reactions which form the precipitate we we can categorized under the topic that is precipitation reactions yes according to the definition of precipitation reaction the definition is that those reactions in which aqueous solution of two compounds on mixing to form insoluble compound which separate out as a solid means when you mix to aqueous solution it forms the products okay in that product one is insoluble then the compound which is insoluble that separate out as a solid that solid is nothing but a precipitate then those reaction which forms the precipitate are called as a precipitation reactions yes what are the reasons uh, to form a precipitate I already told uh, the one reason is that when a compound is insoluble in the reaction or insoluble in the aqueous solution or insoluble in the water then only it forms uh, the precipitate if it's soluble then it not form the precipitate for example when you add your sugar or your salt to the water it will completely precipitate because of that it will not form the precipitate but uh, sometimes when you add the soap or a detergent to the water sometimes it forms the precipitate because in that some compounds are there which are insoluble in water like that when you carry a reaction it forms the products in product if it forms two product one is soluble in and another one is insoluble in the reaction because of that it forms the precipitate that precipitate is nothing but insoluble compound which separate out as a solid that solid is nothing but a precipitate and those reactions are called as precipitation reaction now take a one example let's take one example that is when BaCl2 that is barium chloride is a react with write it as a aqueous aqueous means which is taken in presence of water okay the solid compound is added to the water then it forms the aqueous those uh, solution the, the solvent is a uh, um, water only okay because of that we call it as a aqueous solution okay other than water if you use as a solvent then we can call it as a non aqueous but in this case we use it as a aqueous I'm sorry water hence we can call it as a aqueous in aqueous medium aqueous medium is nothing but just take a one or two gram of solid and add it to the water then it forms the aqueous solution when aqueous solution of barium chloride is react with the sodium sulfate which also taken in a aqueous state then what it forms okay try to write the uh, products is just uh, check the valencies and uh, it is also like a double displacement reaction only okay write the valencies and uh, just uh, displace your ions okay what are the valencies so what are the ions here one is a barium ion and the one is chloride ion and the one is sodium ion and the one is sulfate ion the barium is plus 2 chloride is minus 1 sodium is plus 1 and uh, sulfate is minus 2 okay these are the ions involved in uh, this reaction okay then now write the product okay how you write the product displace okay the positive ion displace the another positive ion negative ion displace the another negative ion hence uh, ba displace the sodium yes, initially sodium with the sulfate but uh, when uh, ba displaced the sodium then in the product uh, ba with uh, so4 hence you write uh, ba SO4 the valency of both B and SO4 are two only because of that the pro uh, the product and formula is BaSO4 and one more is 
Na when Na displaces the Br, it forms the bond with the Cl. Hence, you write a Na Cl. Okay. Between these two, which will form the precipitate? At of yes, of course, your Na Cl is soluble in water. Hence, it forms the aqueous solution. Hence, it forms the aqueous solution. Then, if if one is aqueous, then another should be uh, so insoluble in water. Hence, it forms the precipitate then we can denote it by using this uh, arrow mark okay in this case baso4 is a will form precipitate because of that baso4 separate out as a solid and uh, nacl is dissolved in uh, your product because of that according to the definition those reactions in which uh, aqueous solution of two compound aqueous solution of two compound what are those two compounds bacl2 and naso4 are the two compounds when you mix uh, BS, BSCl2 that is barium chloride to the sodium sulfate it forms on mixing it forms insoluble compound the insoluble compound is nothing but a BASO, BASO4 that is barium sulfate which is separate out as a solid this uh, can separate out as a solid hence it forms the precipitate this is the definition of precipitate and this one is a example for your precipitation reactions yes in this case the barium sulfate which forms the white color precipitate okay which is white in color okay white ppt means on mixing bacl2 with naso4 it forms the white color solid okay by observing that white color solid we will confirm that that white color is nothing but a precipitate the name of that precipitate is nothing but a baso4 that is barium sulfate okay this is the one um, example for precipitation reaction like that take a one more example let's take one more example when cu so4 cu so4 means copper sulfate which is taken in a aqueous medium aqueous medium which is uh, react with the ammonium hydroxide what it forms okay before this uh, you should balance this okay uh, is it balanced reaction or not is it balanced this reaction no it is not balanced because here two sodium two chlorine but in this case two one sodium and one chlorine hence you should add a two here now this one is balanced okay Bef because of that uh, before going to the further reaction you should check whether the reaction is balanced or not if you not balanced your chemical reaction then the reaction is uh, something wrong because of that you should balance this now move towards this reaction when the copper sulfate which is taken in aqueous medium is react with the uh, ammonium hydroxide which also taken in aqueous medium when copper sulfate is react with the ammonium hydroxide what it forms x now write uh, your uh, what the ions ions are cu ions are cu which is present in a plus two two state and one more is so4 which also present in minus two state and uh, the next one is nh4 which is present in plus one state and OH minus which is present in minus one state means copper ion, sulfate ion, ammonium ion and hydroxide ion these are the ions which are present in this reaction okay now you displace or you exchange the ions and uh, write the products okay so what are the products here is copper is uh, displaced with ammonium hence it forms uh, CuOH in this case Cu is plus two and OH is minus one hence uh, cross the valencies and it forms a cuoh twice this is a one react product and one more the ammonium displays the um, copper hence it it becomes nh4 valency is plus one and so4 valency is minus two hence you cross the valency hence it forms nh4 twice so4 okay one product is copper hydroxide another one is ammonium sulfate okay in this case which will form the precipitate of course the copper hydroxide will form the precipitate which is which is bluish white in color bluish white in color okay 
in this case which is a precipitate the precipitate is nothing but uh, copper hydroxide okay means when you add copper sulfate to the ammonium hydroxide aqueous solution of copper sulfate to the ammonium hydroxide it forms the two product one is a copper hydroxide and the one is ammonium sulfate between these two ammonium sulfate is soluble ammonium sulfate is soluble in your solution or soluble in water or soluble in your reaction hence it is it forms the aqueous means soluble hence it not form the precipitate and the one more product is copper hydroxide this is separate out as a solid means which is insoluble compound hence it separate out as solid because of that it forms the precipitate which is bluish white in color okay this is the one more reaction to the precipitation reaction these are also the double displacement reaction both are double displacement reactions and both are precipitation reactions also okay these are the this is a one more um, example okay how you identify the which one is form precipitate and which one is aqueous okay of course i write the uh, two reactant and i already told in this case baso4 forms precipitate in this case copper hydroxide forms the precipitate why not nacl why not nh4oh how you decide to that there is a one topic that is solubility rule okay the those rules i will send you in the group just observe those rules by using those rules you can easily identify in the product which is form the precipitate and which is form the aqueous solution means which is soluble and which is insoluble okay by using those rules you try to find out your answer okay those are nothing but solubility rules you will study in your higher classes just uh, only few uh, rules i will send to uh, avoid your confusions okay just uh, go through that let's now take a uh, one more example that is when pb no3 twice that is lead nitrate is uh, react with kcl that is potassium chloride it forms the precipitate in this case both taken as a aqueous okay aqueous medium when the lead nitrate is react with the kcl is when lead nitrate is react with the kcl what it forms okay uh, just write a uh, your uh, ions at what are the ions present in this case the ions are nothing but uh, is what are the ions write it here pb which is present in plus 2 state and uh, no3 which is present in minus 1 state and one more k which is present in plus 1 state and one more cl which is present in minus 1 state these are the ions involved in this reaction okay now displace your ions okay pb displace the k or k displace the pb okay write a product okay what are the products when pb displace the k now pb is bonded with the kcl hence it forms a pb cl2 because pb is a plus 2 valency cl is minus 1 valency hence when you cross the valencies it forms a pb cl2 and one more product sk displaces the pb and hence it becomes k n o 3 okay in this case k is a plus 1 no3 is minus 1 hence the formula is k no3 only okay now which will form the precipitate okay in this case pb is form the precipitate okay uh, we have some rules okay i will uh, send uh, you and uh, go through that you, you you clearly know why pbcl to form precipitate in this case pbcl2 is form the precipitate because it, this is insoluble in this uh, reaction okay on mixing it becomes insoluble hence it forms the precipitate okay this is form the precipitate and this uh, is soluble in water hence uh, we will write it as a aqueous okay kno3 is soluble in uh, reaction hence it forms the 
aqueous here pbcl2 is insoluble hence it forms the uh, something like a white color precipitate okay white color precipitate it forms that is lead chloride this is a one more example when the lead nitrate is react with the um, potassium chloride it forms the two compound one is a lead chloride another one is potassium nitrate potassium nitrate is soluble in the reaction hence it uh, uh, will not form the precipitate but uh, uh, lead chloride is uh, insoluble hence it separate out as a solid that solid is nothing but a precipitate these three are the examples for the precipitation reactions yes i hope you all understand the displacement reaction double displacement reaction and uh, precipitation reactions i will send some more examples regarding with the double displacement and precipitation reaction please solve and if you not understand then ask me okay then the next topic of your in this chapter is nothing but neutralization reaction okay the name only suggest neutralization reaction the neutralization means making a neutral okay then when you react to acid means acid is somewhat uh, highly as means ph according to the ph in uh, next chapter you all come to know what is ph and what is the ph of acids and base uh, uh, you will uh, you will understand in the next chapter and what is the ph of salt uh, and water you will understand in the next chapter then the mm, the reaction between acid and base we can call it as a neutralization reaction because when acid is reacted to the base it forms the a neutral compound that is a uh, salt because of that the making neutral when you react acid with the base base uh, by reacting both it makes the neutral product and it forms the neutral product because of that we can call it as a neutralization reaction because uh, the acid is uh, mo uh, the reactivity wise acid and base both are the different reactivity both are different in the ph but when you add uh, the acid to the salt uh, when it sorry acid to the base when it forms the salt uh, and it becomes the neutral because of that we can call it as a neutralization reaction according to the definition of neutralization reaction those reactions in which those reactions in which an acids react with the base to form salt and water means when acid is react with the base it should form the salt and water because of <coughs> means when acid is react with the base every acid and every base when you add whatever the acid and whatever the base it should form the salt this is a general a formula and this is the general reaction whatever the salt or whatever the acid and whatever the base it should form the salt and water this is the reaction then the definition of re neutralization reaction is those reactions in which an acid is reacted with the base to form salt and water because of that we can call it as a neutralization reactions now take uh, some examples yes, generally one example means uh, when you are in acidity okay acidity means uh, due to some uh, heavy uh, food it forms the acidity during that time you 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 are taking the eno yes or no okay when you take the eno your acidity is uh, decreases your, your acidity is decreased because the acid is nothing but uh, it increases the acid level in our stomach okay because of that when the acid level increases it uh, start burning burning sensation means it start the acidity but when you take the eno eno is nothing but a base okay inside uh, is already uh, acid is present uh, because of that to make neutral you you take the uh, eno that is an eno is nothing but a base when you uh, mix that eno to the acid means the acid which is generate inside our body it forms the salt that salt is nothing but neutral in nature because of that our acidity is going to decrease when the salt is formed our acidity is going to decrease means the neutralization reactions are always taking place in our body when the neutralization reaction is not in the perfect way then it forms the acidity okay now take a one example the common simple example when na oh when na oh is react with the h c l when na oh na oh means when aqueous take it as aqueous and take it as a gas like hydrochloric acid gas okay directly you can add the liquid 
liquid NaCl or dilute NaCl, whatever. When NaOH is added to the HCl, in this case NaOH is a base, okay. HCl is a acid. This one is base and this one is acid. Yes, according to our definition, what it should form? When as base is react with the acid or acid is react with the base, it should form the salt. Okay. In this and water. Water means is it is always H2. Means this H and this OH is react with react and it forms the water and remaining is Na and Cl. Okay. H and OH means this H and this OH both are react and it forms the water and the Na is react with the Cl and it forms the NaCl that is nothing but your salt that is NaCl when acid is react with sorry when acid is react with the base or when base is react with the acid when acid is react with the base it should forms what it should form salt plus water means when the NaOH base is react with the acid, it forms the salt that is sodium chloride with the liberation of water molecule. This is a one example. When acid is react with the base, it should form the salt and water. This is one example. In this case, acid and base both are react and forms the neutral compound, which is neutral compound salt. That salt is nothing but NaCl. Because of that, we can call it as a neutralization reactions. Now take one more example that is when one more example when KOH KOH is nothing but base when KOH is uh, react with uh, HCl that is nothing but hydrochloric acid when KOH potassium hydroxide base is react with the hydrochloric acid that is HCl it forms what it forms let's so write the product yourself in this case KOH is a base okay so you simply I write uh, it as a B okay you should understand this one is a base and this one is acid okay don't write B and A in your exam okay to make you convey I write B and A okay yes, in this case potassium hydroxide is a base and HCl is acid when acid is react when acid is react with a base it should form the salt plus water initially write it as a water write directly water but watch you what which is a salt here means h is react with the oh and it forms the water and remaining is k and cl right k c l this is the salt okay i write here yes yes means salt okay don't write in exam means kcl is the salt this is the salt okay because of that when koh base is react with the hcl acid it forms the salt and water this is one more example now take a one more example when the one more example is when NaOH when NaOH when NaOH is a react with the H2SO4 when NaOH is react with H2SO4 what it to okay you should check uh, the whether the reactions are balanced or not sometimes i am i forgot to balance okay i only in the in, in the explaining i i only explain you means uh, i am not uh, balanced sometimes because of that if if i uh, not balanced you should balance in your uh, uh, textbook or in your book okay just uh, whatever the things uh, i write it in the paper or bold uh, you should check whether the reaction is balanced uh, or not then only you copy it to your uh, books okay then the next example when NaOH that is the, this is base when sodium hydroxide base is react with the sulfuric acid that is just so for what it forms okay then in the product the directly you write uh, h2o H is react with the OH and it forms H2O. H is react with the OH, it forms H2O. Our remaining is Na and SO4. In this case, Na is a positive with a valency plus 1 and SO4 is a negative with a valency minus 2. The remaining are Na and SO4. Na plus 1 and SO4 minus 2. Hence, it becomes what it becomes? Na2 
SO4. This is the salt. Means when NaOH is react with the H2SO4, it forms Na2SO4 with the liberation of H2O. That is when sodium hydroxide base is react with the sulfuric acid, it forms the salt as sodium sulfate with the liberation of water molecule. This is a one more example okay now take one more example when ba oh twice that is when barium hydroxide is a react with the h2so4 before going to the next reaction check whether the reaction is balanced or not no this reaction is not balanced because in this case you have two, N, two Na but in this case you have one uh, Na and in this case you have three OH sorry three H in this case two H because of that you should balance right it two and it becomes now two and two because now the reaction is balanced because of that I told you uh, whether um, the reaction is balanced or not you should check sometimes I forgot to balance uh, the duty of you is you should check the reactions whether balanced or not then move forward let's now take this example okay when baos twice is react with the h2so4 what it forms in this case which is a base barium hydroxide is a base h2so4 is a acid because of that according to our definition when acid is react with the base what it should forms it should forms the salt then which is a salt with salt plus water write a water first and then write the salt which is a salt here s2 is react with the oh h is react with the oh and it forms s2o the remaining is ba and so4 write a b a with a valency ba with the valency plus 2 and so4 with the valency minus 2 both have same sign both have same magnitude hence it becomes the same hence you write ba is react with so4 and it forms ba so4 this is a salt here ba so4 that is barium sulfate is a salt with the liberation of water in this case barium hydroxide is a base when it, it react with the acid like sulfuric acid it forms the salt like ba so4 that is barium sulfate with the liberation of water molecule this is a one more example now check whether the reaction is balanced or not except hydrogen and oxygen all are balanced you should balance the hydrogen and oxygen in this case you have four hydrogen in this case you have two hydrogen in this case five oxygen in this case six oxygen hence you add two here when hence you add two here now it becomes balanced four hydrogen here four hydrogen here 6 oxygen here and 6 oxygen here 1 Ba and 1 S. This is the now balanced chemical reaction. This is a one more example. Now move towards the uh, some other reactions. Take CaOH twice. When CaOH twice is react with the acid like HCl, what it forms? When CaOH2, that is calcium hydroxide, is react with the acid like hydrochloric acid, what it forms? H is react with the OH and it forms the H2O, and the remaining is Ca is react with the Cl, it becomes CaCl2 because Ca is plus 2 valency, Cl is minus 1 valency, cross the number and it becomes CaCl2. Now, in this case, which is a acid, which is a base, and which is salt? Calcium hydroxide is a base. HCl is a salt and calcium chloride is the uh, sorry calcium hydroxide is a base HCl is a acid when base is react with the acid it should forms the salt the salt is nothing but calcium chloride with the liberation of water molecule let's check whether the reaction is balanced or not no in this case two chlorine what two chlorine and one chlorine in this case three hydrogen and two hydrogen now uh, two oxygen and one oxygen now balance your chemical reaction as add a here now becomes chlorines are balanced what about hydrogen two hydrogen and two four hydrogen in the reactant and two hydrogen in the product and two oxygen here one oxygen here hence you should add it to here now it becomes balanced this is a balanced chemical reaction okay this is one more example 
now move towards some other uh, reaction okay now take a k o h is react with the h n o 3 what it forms in this case k o h is a base h n o 3 is a acid k o h is potassium hydroxide h n o 3 is a, um, nitric acid when it when acid is react with the base what it forms so directly you should write h 2 o and the salt is h is react with o h and it forms h 2 o the remaining is k n o 3 okay k n o 3 in this case the valence of k is plus 1 n o 3 is minus 1 hence it forms k n o 3 k n o 3 is a salt here potassium nitrate is a salt when the potassium hydroxide is react with the uh, nitric acid it forms the potassium nitrate with the liberation of water this is a one more example check whether the reaction is balanced or not as yes, the reaction is balanced okay now move towards some other reactions when mg oh twice is react with the hcl what it forms when mjos twice means magnesium hydroxide is react with the acid hcl what it forms it forms water with the liberation of salt which is salt mg is react with the cl and it forms mg cl2 in this case mg is plus 2 valency cl is minus 1 valency hence when you cross it becomes mg cl2 in this case mg cl2 is a salt hcl is acid mg oh twice is a base again take the same example as when mg oh twice is react with the h2 so4 what it forms okay the same compound the same base but the uh, acid is a different one okay when magnesium hydroxide is react with the sulfuric acid what it forms it forms the water with the liberation of salt which is a salt here mg so4 both uh, mg is a plus 2 and uh, this one is minus 2 hence it becomes mg so4 check whether the both reactions are balanced or not if this reaction is not balanced hence you should add it to here now it becomes 4 and now yes, now the reaction is uh, balanced check whether the reaction is balanced or not yes, hydrogen and uh, oxygen are not balanced here hence you should add it to now the reaction is balanced this is a uh, one more example take our last example when Na OH is react with the HNO3 what it forms when NOH NOH is a base NaOH is a base when NOH react with the HNO3 what it forms it forms the salt and water right a water first and HN when Na is react with NO3 it forms Na n o 3 this is a salt this is salt and this is a water these are the some examples of uh, the reaction of acid with the base okay the reaction is already balanced these are some examples of acid uh, uh, means acid base reaction that is neutral acid reaction neutral acid reaction also call it as a acid base reaction or neutral acid reaction neutral acid reaction means when acid is react with the base it forms the salt and water okay take whatever the acids and base yourself and try to write the product as a salt and water okay i will send some more examples to you and try to solve okay this is about today's class in today's class we studied about uh, precipitation reaction and neutralization reaction in the next class the last topic of this chapter that is oxidation and reduct reaction along with that uh, some application uh, like uh, uh, rancidity and uh, how to reduce the rancidity we will study it in the next class and we will end up the chapter okay i hope you all understand uh, this class if you not understand contact me and clarify your doubts thank you thank you so much